Well, my Bible reading this morning was rather interesting. It had to do with the woes to the scribes and Pharisees. I remember joking about that once where it was like, whoa, 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 your boat. Well, this morning on the way to church, I started writing a new song. And I was enjoying the concept. It had to do with boats. And it was time to get off of the woe boat of the Pharisees and get on the love boat of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by focusing on His commands of love. There are times when the, you will find that churches will not intentionally or they will focus on hell and damnation and on the sinners, not necessarily the sins. And it will generate sometimes hatred for these people and they should be extending the hand of love and forgiveness of God. When I sat at the table too, I couldn't help but look at the uh, this beautiful rose that was given to me by a lady Sandy that I cared for and cared about. It once said was painted. The colors have faded, so it's like the soul of a rose. And she's a beautiful spiritual person. This again is my table that I enjoy reading the Bible. I have candles that I will light. I'm very fond of the devotion to Jesus' heart of divine mercy. And Mother Mary is special. I've been to Lourdes twice. I shared large water with a great range of people. Some of them people who were supposed to be on their way out. And the prayers were answered. On well, my three Bibles, I have written on the front, I am with you when you seek my words. There have been times in my life when I will feel and hear in my heart the words, I am with you. And there are times when I'd hear that, that there are things that are miracles. At the time when I went out and my home was in danger of foreclosure and the night before my blood pressure was going up and down at the elevator in the Empire State Building, I wanted to calm it down. So I thought of a peaceful scene where I was in the Caribbean on my boat that I had, sailing wing on wing, which is one of my favorite points of sail, and that's a, a beautiful balance. And the, uh, I wish I could share that with someone. That, that was like a reality. And I hollered down to the, uh, and down below decks, and I said, is anyone there? And there was no reply. But from behind me, like right over my shoulder, I heard a voice. I am with you. Now the next day, I went out and... First off, when I heard that, an incredible calmness came over me. And I just felt wonderful and at peace with the world. And the, uh, the day before, I was wrapping up some prints to get the ASPCA of my artwork. And if I did anything at all, I'd get dizzy. I had to sit down, just folding prints, rolling them, putting them in a box. Our container that I had for shipping. Well, I went out to the driveway 
and there was a big branch it was about 25 feet long and, and uh, the diameter had to be over 12 inches. It was blocking the door to my pickup truck and my ex-wife said, George, you should get that car out of the yard or you'll lose it when they foreclose on the house. Well, I actually went out with a 14-pound skill saw and I cut down the branch that was blocking the door to the car. Then I cut down more. I'd go up on the top of a six-foot ladder, holding on to one branch, small branch that I just cut off, then cut others down. And then they would topple to the ground but still be attached. And I'd move them from side to side until they would collapse off the tree. I was amazingly strong. I did not have any form of vertigo or dizziness. And my children could not keep up with me, and they're young husky guys if they were doing that work. But, and I did not lose my house back then. That was back in uh, 2009. But now that I'm in danger of doing that, I've been much more involved with my spiritual journey. One of them involved the uh, lady who painted the rose on that that is reflected in the sunlight right now. I was caregiving for her in my home. She was terminally ill with cancer. And she told me once that Mary said that she could hold baby Jesus. She was very much in pain. And I said, while well, you're contemplating holding baby Jesus, what I want you to do is breathe in the air that Jesus is exhaling. Breathe in Jesus. Exhale joy, love, and peace. But first I said exhale pain. We did that a number of times. Then I said exhale joy, love, and peace. Well, the pain had left. And she started singing joy to the world. And we said the rosary together. Now I've done that with patients in a rest home and I've had the same result in reference to them singing afterward joy to the world. They were surrounded by the ambience of God's love. Well today I started a new song. And I was inspired by the, uh, again, Matthew and what he was talking about, woe to the Pharisees and scribes. Um, there are people who I go out and you know they, they, they teach hell and damnation. They inspire hate among their parishioners that is sometimes directed toward gay people, it could be Muslims, it could be anyone. It encourages their flock to be judgmental, which is the opposite of Christ's teaching. Jesus is all about love, with his commands of love, and his new command, John 13, 34. Love your neighbor as I have loved you. The song I wrote had to do with whoa, whoa, whoa your boat idea, but it was it's time to get off the whoa boat and get on God's love boat. The Prince of Peace and Love. Which has been the direction in uh, my prayers on my latest prayer paintings too. But I have to go down and maybe do a little bit more work and set up my computer so I can make an effort to uh, um, get some information to someone who might be involved with uh, uh, helping me um, in my difficulties with my home. Now, may you someday also hear the words, I am with you. And one of the times that you're more likely to hear it is when you seek my word that is the words that Christ spoke while here on earth. The red Bible that you see over in here, I have three Bibles. One I call the VA Bible that I got while I was in a pick line in the uh, hospital at the VA for a couple months. And, and I'd bring my guitar in my wheelchair and sing and pray with different patients. And the... Um, I once did an exorcism on one of the homeless people that I had in uh, my home and I really didn't know what I was doing. 
but you've done in good faith anyway, and that's in the name of Jesus Christ, if there are any evil spirits, please leave this poor lady. And I believe they did. But it was unfortunate, I think, that the spirits that I got out of the lady might have entered my son. He did a tremendous amount of damage one time, shortly after that. And he inscribed on the Bible, and I do not believe it was him doing that, poison. Well, I recovered the Bible, and I used wax from a Our Lady of Fatima procession. And I was literally inspired to put the words on it, I am with you when you seek my word. And I believe that. So seek the words that Christ spoke while here on earth, and he will be with you. May God bless you all.